Welcome to episode 68 of the Clarity Compressed Podcast. My name is Paul J. Daly, and I will be your host today. And today, we're doing something different. Today is a Moment of Clarity episode. Clarity can only really exist in the light of truth. Branding just isn't a tactic. It's a lifestyle change. Okay, so we're trying something a little different today. Um, I'm calling it a moment of clarity episode, and we've been talking about actually releasing a lot of these little moments of clarity. You know clarity is my thing, it's my mantra, and really clarity is a lot of little steps that lead to the big step or the big clarity reveal. I've, I've learned that there's never really this gigantic moment of clarity that is in and of itself like holistic, but usually it's a series of steps and a series of realizations that lead you to the big revelation. So um, I wanna start sharing some of those as they come up and maybe we'll start a little series, Moment of Clarity series, I don't know. But today I wanna talk about three things particularly. So it's gonna be bite-sized chunks. So if you're on your drive, you're walking the dog, or you just have a few minutes to yourself, hopefully you'll listen to these three things. You'll be able to apply something to your life, maybe be able to share something back to me in the community uh, because of what the Moment of Clarity has done or another an insight that you might have on it. So uh, just going to talk about three things today, going to try to keep them short, try to keep them tight, and uh, try to keep them clear. So a moment of clarity, we've got our little art up here. Thank you, Nate, uh, for writing that on the board when I pulled you out of whatever else you were doing that was important to hook us up with a little bit of your talent. First moment of clarity, a little math equation. Selfless is greater than, remember the little Pac-Man greater than? Selfless is greater than selfish. And this little piece of clarity is something that will really change the way you approach situations. And I guarantee if you live this out well, it will change the way others relate to you. And it will, in that case, really change the result that you get in the macro from one side to the other. If you approach your family life and your relationship life and your work life and your professional development life and your school life and your leisure time. Selfless is greater than selfish. And I know it seems kind of elementary or rudimentary, maybe even, but it's really easy to forget this because the whole world is now oriented toward our preferences. Think about it. You can adjust preferences on just about everything. You can get it just how you like it, whether that's your phone settings, whether that's your subscription orders that come in. If you don't like it, you can send it back, right? The Amazon world. And these are all great things, right? It's it's retail preference. It, it really is fun and great to be able to cater everything to our preferences so that, you know, we can kind of move through life smoother, more enjoyably. But I think what that has done in our psyche has told us repeatedly over and over and over that we, me, my person, you, your person is the most important thing in the world. And it drives that point home. I'm raising three kids right now, my wife and I, and one of the things one of the challenges of raising a child in this environment where they just grown up being able to cater everything to themselves is that you really have to work twice as hard to teach them that selfless is greater than selfish. And I know as I'm saying this, you're thinking of all the ways in your life that you just cater life to yourself. I, I'm the same way. I want it how I want it. I think that's human nature. But when you're in a relationship and when you're navigating life with other people in a professional environment, especially especially if you are a leader and you can embrace the fact that selfless is greater than selfish, you are going to see incremental and, and over time incremental success, but long-term macro win because people know that you're there to serve them. So the moment of clarity is selfless is greater than selfish and whatever you're doing next in your day, whatever, if you're driving to work or if you're going home to your family, whatever it is, just think for a second, deploy that moment of clarity and think, what can I do right now that is selfless instead of being selfish and watch what happens and let me know what happens. I'm going to try to do it because I fail at this all the time, especially in my closest relationships. It's hard to be selfless, but sharing it here on the podcast is going to help keep me more accountable to it. Hopefully, it's going to encourage you to do that, and hopefully together as a community, we can make the message louder and uh, just make this a better thing. So first, selfless is greater than selfishness. Moment of clarity number one. Moment of clarity number two, understanding the difference between 
tactics and strategy. Well, it's actually strategy and tactics. Let me explain. I sent out a tweet this morning because the thought hit me as I was driving to work, and it was that tactics win battles, but strategies win wars. And I'm going to talk about how that applies in our personal life, but also how it applies in our business life. Actually, I'll start with business. So in the business world, especially in branding and marketing, which you know is kind of the, a main focus of my life and my career right now, tactics like algorithm hacks, tactics like what's the current thing that's popping right now? Let me deploy to that tactic. Let me deploy to you know this little micro thing that will help me win this battle, will help me sell this product today, will help me get some attention today. Those are good things. Tactics are good. But if you just deploy and put all your energy into tactics, you get really, really stuck the second that the algorithm changes or consumer sentiment changes or the political climate changes or the economy changes. All of your tactics are temporary. All of your tactics are short term. Now it's okay to keep adjusting to tactics and, and deploying new tactics, right? That's part of being in business. That's what we do. If you're fighting a war, you need tactics to win the battle. We're going to deploy these guys here, this you know, resource there. That's fine. That's good. It's necessary, actually. But strategy is different. Strategy is saying, we're going to facilitate, we're going to organize ourselves in a manner and a system that understands where we're going five years from now. That way we can deploy the tactics in their place, but the strategy is what guides us long-term. Your vision, mission, values is a strategy. Your business model is a strategy. And if you don't pay attention to those things and you're constantly like, how can I make it through today? How can I make it through today? How can I make it through today? You're going to crash and burn really, really hard, or you're frankly just going to get burnt out because operating in a tactics world is exhausting if you don't understand how it fits into the overarching strategy. Let's pivot to personal life. So deploying tactics versus strategy in a relationship, right? I'm going to use a marriage as an example, but you can overlay this into any type of, whether it be romantic relationship or father-son, parenting relationship, interpersonal relationship, work relationship, it fits. Here's a tactic. Here's some flowers. I hope you feel good about that. I want you, I want to see you smile. That's a good thing, right? That's a tactic. Let me think, what else? I'm going to take out the trash today. That's a tactic. I'm going to pay for your meal. That's a tactic. Uh, I'm going to write you a little note in the morning. That's a tactic. That's a good thing, right? It's something that, especially if it's deployed and selfless over selfish, right? Those selfless tactics really do make a difference and impact. But here's where it breaks down. The strategy and I'm, again, I'm, I'm back up to a framework of a marriage because it's, I have the most experience in one. I'm about to celebrate my 17th anniversary on Friday. Well, I guess it would be last Friday by the time this podcast airs. The strategy is to see Sarah thrive. The strategy is to live a long life together, living life together, navigating the challenges together, raising kids together so that they can be healthy and then do the same thing. The strategy is to love and protect and serve my wife. Tactics won't do it if the rest of my life, the flowers don't do it if the strategy isn't in place, if it's just the flowers. That's going to get old. It's going to wear out. It's like that second of emotional feeling does not get you through the tough times. The overall long-term selfless goal of saying, hey, I'm going to love you, serve you unconditionally till death do us part. Be faithful to you. That's the strategy. Get it? So again, through your life, whatever you're going into right now, today, whether it's relationship stuff, business stuff, personal stuff, growth, school, whatever, it's okay to deploy tactics, but you have to understand that the strategy is more important than the tactics, but they're both important. So think, in your life today, are you living on tactics or are you living under the umbrella of of a strategy. Again, it's not going to solve the problems, but it's a little moment of clarity. Ask yourself, tactics, strategy, do I have both? Do I have a balance there? Number three, and the final moment of clarity we're going to share this morning, I want you to consider what is the long-term ROI, so return on investment, what is the long-term ROI of serving others? See, all these things kind of have a, a, a similar theme What's the long-term ROI of serving others? 
in your relationships, in work, in every interaction you have, your children, your friends, your family. What do you get for that? Because in the interim, serving others takes sacrifice. Serving others takes our energy, takes our emotional energy. But the long-term ROI of that is the reciprocity of care, the reciprocity of service to you, the reciprocity of filling your emotional tank, filling your energy up because you watch people grow and thrive and learn and lead and duplicate those things and pass them forward. Most leaders that I've had a chance to get to know or read about in any substantial way all have a similar message, and that is you're here to serve. Leading is serving. Simon Sinek's famous like Leaders Eat Last book I've talked about, It's Your Ship. I put it in the, the email last week for the podcast. If you're not signed up for the emails that come with this podcast, I encourage you to do so. Um, you can go to claritycompress.com and sign up and you always get a little bit of a, a suggested reading, something I've read that really made an impact and something that I just suggest you watch or a song to listen to, listen to a little more texture. But uh, put a book in there called It's Your Ship by Captain Mike Abershoff. Really changed my perspective on leadership. Again, the theme of you are there to serve. In my businesses, in the last business I built, in this business, I want people to thrive. And they can only thrive if I set out to serve them. And, you know, last week on the podcast, Kevin Fry, I think very uh, adequately and actually profoundly stated, you know, if you are committed to see everyone else around you succeed, you will in turn and intrinsically become successful. So whatever you're into today, like getting back to point one, selfless is greater than selfish. I want you to ask yourself, right, what is the real ROI of serving other people? They all work together. Serving other people, the desire to do that and see as a macro strategy, right, will help you define, okay, what are the little tactics I can use to serve other people? I can buy their meal. I can ask them how they're doing. I can clean the snow off their car. I'm talking about snow and spring in Syracuse, just on my brain. Not really on my brain, but it's just burnt into my reality. <laughs> so getting a little bit practical this week on the Moment of Clarity edition of the podcast. Again, three things I want you to remember and consider, right? Can you remember them? Think about it. Can you remember the three right now? Okay, number one, selfless is greater than selfish. Selfless is greater than selfish. What can you do today to prioritize? In a world that wants to cater to our preferences, tell us everything's about us, how can you buck that trend and be like, selfless is greater than selfish and deploy that today? It's something you can apply right now. Send a text message, do a nice thing when you get to work, serve somebody else, great. Next one, tactics versus strategies. Understanding the difference that a tactic is a momentary thing that you deploy to try to win a battle, but a strategy is something you deploy long-term to win the war. So what tactics are you using in your life and relationships versus what strategies do you actually have? If you don't have any, it's time to just write it down. Again, something you could deploy right now. Write down what you want your overarching strategy to be. And then you, the tactics usually come a little bit easier. Finally, ask yourself the question, what is the ROI of serving others? Long-term ROI, what is it really? I think it's a life of fulfillment and meaning and purpose and happiness as a result of meaning and purpose. And that's it. So my trajectory and the goal of episode 68 today is to get you thinking in these micro increments so that we can continue to make this positive message louder not just because positivity is a buzzword and it's great to be positive, but because I think it actually makes it more fulfilling and meaningful and purposeful for us who are trying to grow and serve others and lead and build meaningful things and have lasting relationships and legacy marriage and raise kids that do the same thing, right? It starts today. It starts right now. It starts here with the moment of clarity. So... That's it. That's episode 68. I hope you uh, took something away from this. Thank you for listening through the podcast at this point. And just thank you for listening at all and being a part of this community. Um, I say it every week. I enjoy the DMs and reaching out to me. Please continue to send it. If you have any comments on the podcast, hit me up on Twitter at Paul the Daily. 
send me a message, share the podcast, um, share an insight. Let me know if it made a difference. Let's like let each other know how we've served others. And it's really encouraging to read that other people are doing it. And it's really empowering when you share something that you've done, because it'll be encouraging to me and the other people that are watching. So that's it. Episode 68. I hope you have a week full of moments of clarity to make progress and growth and serve other people and be selfless because selfless is cool. That's it. Thanks guys. Take care. Have a great week. And thank you. 